versus Garage. Victory on death. Good morning guys, uh, the season is already nearly finished, so if you are going for legend you should hurry. Um, I'm showing you a deck today that was um, able to reach legend this month, made by Thil, it's a, a discard warlock. So, great deck in general, let's see how it goes against the Varia. See, we're definitely keeping the possessed villager here, we could keep the abusive sergeant as well. And the Imking boss. That looks fine. We are taking the hand. Uh, Sil was able to have a total win rate of 67% with the deck. And he played it from rank 16 up to legend. And in fact reached, uh, reached the top 50 spot on the ladder with it. Pretty standard um, discard lock deck. That you can see here on the deck list on the right. So nothing fancy in it or unusual. Just a pretty solid deck. Opponent is starting with the free war axe. So we are just dropping the void walker here. And buffing out the death villager. Waiting for three. He's of course killing the Void Walker. Oh, and a Doomsayer. Oh, that's a control warrior. Can kill the Doomsayer here with the power overwhelming. But it might be able that he's then dropping Ravaging Ghoul next turn, clearing the board. Need to take the risk anyway. Draw another card. Build over a golem. No two minions on the board, he has one weapon. Let's see if we had the Ravaging Ghoul. No, nope, that's an Acolyte of Pain. Although he might be dropping... Might be dropping the Ghoul next turn. We have a Soulfire in hand, we have the Malchazar's Imp. So potentially we can play the Imp. Then play the soul fire. Hopefully, get the silverware golem on the board, and we can then also draw another card. So we're getting rid of the Aglut of pain. And let's see. Oh, that's the wrong card. Getting a dark shell console man. So let's draw another one. Flame imp, and let's hit him in the face. Would be so much stronger if we could have gotten the silver of a golem on the board. So he is at 5 next turn. Means that he can play a brawl. We need to be aware of that. But we are still dropping the Dark Shark Quantum Man. Alongside a Dark Peddler. Drawing another soul fire here. That's the best choice. And that's it for another three. Down to 21. Brawl would be devastating in this situation. But at least we have a 25% chance. There it is to get the Dark Shire Control Man. That would be by far the best option here. We are getting him. Wow. That's wonderful. Double flame imps. Let's see what else we are getting. Direwolf Alpha. Let's drop those. And hit him for 5. So he's down to 15. As long as he's not dropping another brawl, we should be pretty fine now. Oh, seriously. Just drew that. That must be nice. The one card that could help him here a lot, otherwise uh, we would have most likely win the game. Ah, uh, that's just stupid. 
Well, Doomguard isn't too bad. We're getting the Silver Golem on the board. And also can push 8 damage into his face. From the card here. Squire, okay. So he's down to 7. Slime can kill the Flame Imp here. But it's also possible if he has a Execute. Ah, oh, that's bad. We'll execute that one, then kill the Silver Golem. Another Doomguard. How wonderful, how wonderful. Let's push him down to four. Shield block. Ah, uh, we're seeing a shield slam now again. He's getting the right card at the right time. That's really amazing. Well, power overwhelming. By far the best choice. It's down to 10. We have 4 damage on the board, already played both Doom Guards. Iron Forge Portal, up to 14. The Eerie Start, the statue isn't doing anything here. Now up to 16. Draw another card, Ink Gang Boss. We are already at 10. So potentially, if he has a, a, a grow mash and an activator, he can kill us. Or if he's job dropping a Yoxaron. Uh, let's see how that helps him. Well, he rolls. Oh, he's drawing another card there. Bolster, master spell. Wow. Just wow. Uh, is it enough? We have eight. That's enough. At least something. Second game, we have a warlock against the shaman. Let's see how that one goes. Knife juggler, imp game, both darkshire, councilman. Can't keep those cards at the moment. We are going first, so we want to have a one drop here. Let's replace all three. Why are the imp and the die both alpha? That looks way better. We can start with the squire here. And normally drop the Direwolf Alpha on turn 2. Still choosing, still choosing. low like hell so replacing one card doom guard that's nice in combination with the malchazar's imp let's start with the squire here dropping the imp later in the game opponent is starting with a tunnel truck Unexpected for sure. So if he's going for the totem golem next turn, the tunnel truck will have two attack. And then he can for sure take out the direwolf alpha. So many but nonetheless, we need to attack him here. 
He's not able to buff the tunnel truck. We can kill that one without a problem. Oh, he's going for the squire. But it's most likely that he has something to buff it. Oh, like a flame tongue. A single flame tongue on the board. Playing an imp gang boss, that's wonderful. Playing that one. And let's hit him here. So we can clear him next turn if he's not dropping stuff like the feral spirit. Spirit claw, so he is hoping for some spell damage. Not getting it. We can easily clear then the flame tongue. Draw another card. Abusive Sergeant. Let's take up the flame tongue. And we're dropping the possessed villager and the martial arts in. So we just need to avoid the spell damage uh, totem or spell damage minion. So that the imp can survive and we can play the doom guard next turn. Tasker to Demic, that brings him... Oh, there is a spell damage one. He's definitely taken out the Maltazar's Imp, unfortunately. But then we don't play the Doomguard and drop the Defender of Argus and the Use of Surgeon here. So we can take out the Tasker. Also, for sure, take out the spell damage totem. So the weapon is now a 1 1 again. It's a coin. Playing something for 6. Maybe a fire elemental. There it is. That's not too bad. We have the power overwhelming here that we can drop on the Defender of Argus and take that one out and play the Doom Guard. Unfortunately, we will lose the uh, Malchazad's Imp, but it's better this way. So we're hitting him for 8, down to 20. X would be bad now, otherwise um, his AoE damage is not so strong. Of course he has the X. And a totem golem. Well, getting another Doomguard. That helps for sure. And a Defend of Argus, so he has the 1-1 one, one weapon here. We are taking out the totem golem. The Doomguard will still have 4 life, so a Lightning Bolt alone won't help him here to clear the minions. We would need some help. So he, if he's going for the totem and getting a spell damage one, or just playing the Blood Mage Salnos, that can help him. They'll have 4 mana for Lightning Bolt. So please don't kill the Doomguard. Oh, there's a Nelson portal. Might have two. No, not the case. Alrighty, so let's play the Defender of Argus. Also Void Walker, we are taking out the mana room here for sure. Both of the Blood Mage Salmos. We will draw another card. And he's already at 14 and we have currently 11 damage on the board. As long as he's not dropping a Lightning Storm or another Maelstrom Portal, we are pretty fine should be able to uh, finish the game in the next couple of turns. There's a fire elemental, two mana left, and the flame tongue totem. Taking out the doom guard. Ah, that was mean.
Okay, seven mana. We have creatures for seven. We'll take out the flame tongue totem. Then let's drop the minions here. Again, 11 damage on the board. You will kill one minion for sure with the fire elemental. Thunderbluff Valiant. Tunnel Talk and one totem. Now oh, clearing the imp, we still have 9 damage on the board. Don't need much to finish him here. Soul Fire is one option. Maybe we're getting an abusive sergeant or the dark peddler that can also help us with the power overwhelming and we win the game. And that's the conclusion of today's episode. Thank you for watching. If you like my content and want to see more of it, check out my other stuff on the channel or simply hit the thumbnails in the end card you are seeing right now. You can always reach out to me in the comments with feedback or deck requests, so don't be shy. Last but not least, if you want to support me, you can do so in various ways. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter and Twitch, or use my affiliate partners, which can be found in the description box below the video. It will allow me to keep the channel and new content coming in on a regular basis. Until then, see you in my next video and goodbye.